Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little miniature dresser for a kid's room. Very simple, basic um, setup. On the template you're going to have cut one each of these and then some will say cut five or cut two. Now this one is going to be the sides of the drawer which is going to be here. This cut one back here is a little bit smaller than that one and then that's cut one. That's because the back is smaller and then the front and then you have over here, that's going to be the front base that we're going to glue on to make the actual drawer front. Okay, now this is cut five. That's going to be the top, the bottom, and then the middles. And then for the legs, you can use matte pens or you can use the larger um, stick pens for sewing. Right now, I just have this taped together. It's not glued or anything. But I'll show you how we can do it. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is you're going to want to tape your thing together. Now I'm going to remove these map pens. I just kind of stuck them in there to see how high that is going to go. But you want to tape it together. And the reason being for that is so that you can actually put the glue in and hold it because otherwise you're not going to be able to. Now, untape the one end from each side. Big, little, big, little. And you are going to put the glue directly on here. Then that one's going to go up. And then see how that folds up there. That one will go up. And then you're going to fold that in and put it there. Make sure you're even all the way around and then re-tighten the tape. Pull it snug when you're doing it. Lay it on a flat surface and get your square to make sure that you have it square. Okay. Now, where the glue has gone in the crack, you can use a stick, a stick, um, like a popsicle stick or something like that, to just kind of scoop it out the edges, to smooth it out, to get that excess off. And if you don't have any, then great. But just make sure you get the bulk of that, because that will make a difference when you're doing the rest of it. Okay, so. This should be even all the way with this top here and the bottom here, and then you should put it in a square to make sure that it is square. After that, then you need to build your drawer. Let that dry for a little bit, and how you're going to build your drawer is you are going to take one complete set that you have cut. Now you need one set of each of these drawer pieces to make one drawer where it says cut one each here and cut two and then the drawer face you need one set of that for each okay so this can be a little bit tricky because it's a lot of little parts and what you want to do is put it together kind of like this with the little one at the back the larger one at the front and then the two smaller ones on the side and then after you get it together, then you will also put this on here. But this one I kind of tried to cut down a little bit rather than waste another piece of wood and it didn't work out. So I have to make another one for that. Um, okay, so this one is the widest. So that's going to be the front. If you want to sand it down before you use it, then you need to do that first. Then you're going to use a large popsicle stick, which looks like a tongue suppressor. That's what I use for the bottom. They're not exactly perfect or straight and they are very flimsy. So now I'm going to have to cut another one. However, they're cheap. So, and they're the right thickness. So that's why I did that. All right, so now I have that again. I want to put some glue just along the edge of it on each side 
Now on the edges, the raw edges, it will absorb the glue a lot more than the finished edge. So you might want to leave it sit there for a second. All right, so you're going to put how you have the large and the small. The small one is going to go in the back, even, just like that. And then this one will go in the front, but then you need to take the two smaller ones and you need to put them along the sides and make it even touching that. All right, so now I have that one. Also, um, I almost forgot, put a little glue right along that edge there. That way it attaches itself to that back. See how that glue absorbed right in there from that? All right, now make sure you have it squared up. These popsicle sticks are not perfect in any way, so if it's not exact, then you might have to trim your popsicle stick a little bit. All right, now for this front piece, you're gonna put glue along the bottom edge here, along this side and along this side. All right, just like that. And then you are gonna put it right up against here. You might wanna wait until the other pieces dry if you don't have a steady hand because it'll move it all out of place. Once you have it there, take another piece of board and slide it away from where you were just working. So if there's any glue on the surface, which it probably is, it won't stick there. Okay, so now that we have that done, we need to put some glue on the drawer face and apply it to the front. Just like that. Okay, so now it's time to do the handles. Um, I did a little template so I can have them all exactly the same. And what I'm using is ballpoint pens that you can find in the sewing department as the knobs. Now they're stick pens. So you have to cut them. So I'm using a pair of wire cutters. Make sure you're holding both ends. Otherwise, it's gonna fly off onto the floor and then later you're gonna step on it. Okay, so once you have it there, then you wanna poke the holes in your drawer. Make yourself a template so you get them both exactly in the same spot. And you can either use a larger stick pen, as long as it's not fatter than the ballpoint pens, or you can use a needle and put it in the drill like I did. It just makes it a little bit simpler. After you've done that, then you want to pick the color that you want, and you want to press it in there. Now, if you're going to paint your dresser, you're going to want to paint it before you apply all these um, knobs to your dresser. And if you want these to be gold or something, then you can use a gold paint pen or you can use um, spray paint and stick them in a floral foam and then paint them and let them dry. I want them to be colorful because this is going to be in the kids room. Oh, I'll just put that one in crooked. Don't push too hard because then they'll do just that. They will go on crooked. And the finer needle nose pliers actually work better, but mine are at my house, so I can't get them. They sell those in the jewelry section. Or if you have a thimble, you can use that too. Okay, so I'm not going to add any more of those on here because I do want to paint the dresser and it would just make me have to take them back out. But I just want to show you how to do that. Now to determine where your inserts are going to go on the inside, you're going to need to use your drawers. Okay, the very first thing you're going to need to do is put some glue. Well, 
on here. Now, if you want to measure it um, ahead of time, you can do that too. But I'm going to place one drawer in there. And then I'm going to put that there. Make sure you have it level and a way to check that would be to put your drawer in through the back. Okay, now do the same thing again. your drawer in there. I'm turning it on an angle just because it makes it easier to get it in without getting the glue worn out. Okay, so they're level. Now when you're gluing it together, you want to make sure you have it taped. I didn't tape this, and as you can see, that's open a little bit there. So that's going to actually be hidden once it's in the drawer, but you want to try to avoid that. Now, to avoid doing what I'm doing here, you could always cut a couple extra drawer fronts if you want, put it in there, and then do it that way. All right, now for the very last piece, it's this little brace part across the top. You're gonna put some glue across the top of it like this right here and right here. And then you're going to put it right in that space. Make sure that it's even with the front. best way to make sure that it's even with the front is take a scrap piece of wood and press it down and do it upside down. Now if you see I have a little bit of spacing in there, if you want you can space your drawers just a tiny bit to make up for that spacing or you can leave it alone. But remember if you space it, you have to do it on both sides.
and then there you'll have a little tiny dresser and you can decorate it paint it whatever um, you want now I will have to replace this top board because apparently I cut it a tiny bit too small there you can see it's not meeting perfectly which is probably why I had an extra board in there I probably realized it and just didn't realize it when I did it again so I'm gonna cut top that out real quick and replace it and then paint it okay so now I want to cut the back I'm using a very very thin piece of balsa wood and I am going to cut it out to fit it just do your time take your time and do multiple passes And it's very, very thin. It's like a 30 second thickness. So that way when you glue it on there, it will be exact. Now I want to take the glue and I want to apply it along the edge of every drawer. Rub it in just a little bit. And then attach the back. Okay, so now we're going to put the legs in. Again, these are just matte pens. So basically, they're just a smaller version of a stick pen. Got paint all over me. Don't mind that. I'm painting a little bit of everything, bouncing back and forth between projects today. Okay, so I painted it this color because of it being a kid's room. And I just like this color. All right, so now I'm going to add my pens back in here and then I'll have my handles. Okay, so this is what it looks like um, finished. And of course I can't open it because I don't have big enough fingers or small enough fingers, but as you can see, the drawers will open and close so you could put stuff in them. And you can also paint something decorative on here. I'll probably do like little flowers or something. And if you don't want to see this top edge like that, you can also put a top piece across the top of it. Okay, so if you're going to make the top piece, I went ahead and put that on a template just in case you want to do it. When you install it, you're going to have it overhang just a little bit on each side except the back. The back will be even. And then you want to bevel that edge with a piece of sandpaper. And I'm just using balsa wood. Okay, so I went ahead and made the top a little bit of like decoration. Now I'm gonna show you how I did that. This is scrapbooking section of the craft store and they go on the corners of your paper. It's a very thick piece of metal. So I took this edge and I put it directly in the middle And this is balsa wood. And then I just banged it in. You can either do it like that or like that, depending on which way your angle is going. Try to keep it straight. And then 
you're just going to do that completely around the entire thing. I'm actually going to put this one on this side. See how I just kind of turned it a little bit? That way, when I do this last little bit, it'll look like it belongs. And then right here, same way. And then you just have a decorative piece of wood. And when you paint that, that'll show up. Now, if you want to do that to the other parts of your dresser to make it more decorative, you can do that too with a thin piece of balsa. But you have to use balsa. It's not going to work on hardwood. You can just kind of take it in there. And then you get that pattern in there. Okay, so here it is again. And you could also do this with some um, decorative trim if you wanted to have decorative trim going around your ceilings. Again, it's just this little tiny piece of metal that is in the scrapbooking section. All right, so this piece can now be glued to the top and it actually makes that look a little bit nicer, I think. Maybe you don't want to do that, I don't know. But I'm going to put it up there. Okay, if you want to do the same thing in smaller wood, you can put it around the trim across here if you like. You don't have to, but you can. Just make sure when you're doing this, you have to tape the balsa wood, otherwise it will warp out because it's so thin it absorbs the glue and it's just instantly going to change shape. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry and I'll be back. Okay, so I just put the trim across the top and then put the top piece on there. You don't have to do that part if you don't want to. Um, the measurements for that's not going to be on there. And I have to define this line here a little bit because it kind of got lost in the paint. However, um, if you notice, I was able to get some of the little detail down there as well. So that's the little dresser. The drawers are a little tight to try and open with your fingers, but they will open. Hope that tutorial was helpful and don't forget to check out the template on my website. Okay guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials, and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day.